Now let's have a look at your money tonight, specifically an effort to improve financial literacy among Vermont young people. Right now, more than 70% of Vermont high school students aren't required to take a personal finance class to graduate. However, in Winooski, it's mandatory and it's making a difference. ABC 22 Sam Israel shows us how. Students sitting in Miss Courtney Pockett's class in Winooski High are already planning out their financial futures. Out of all my classes, it is the one that feels the most useful. Paquette teaches business and personal finance, and she says students are getting the message. Well, one of the very first things I do in my class is when people walk in, I say, what would you do if you had a million dollars right now? And then they write this huge list of all the things they would buy. And then by the end of the semester, they said, wait a second, if I invested that million dollars, and if I lived off of the returns, I could still have all of those things, but I could still have my million dollars. Student Alexis Blend says the class has helped her advocate at work. I have direct deposit, so my paycheck just goes into my account, and I never looked at it before, which is so frustrating <laughs> looking back because now that I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's not right, or I should have been paid more or less. A new addition to Pockets class this year is a student-run candy shop. The shop allows students to apply what they learn in real life by deciding what items they can afford. Student Aki Kanchara coached me through a mock purchase. I have $10. I need to save $8 for dinner, but I need some food. I'm hungry. So any special deals, what would you do if you were me? Uh, if I were you in this situation, we have a great deal going on where if you buy a bag of chips for $2, you get a free Capri Sun. So I think that that's the best uh, choice of action. Sounds good, and I save money on that, right? Yeah, you save money on that. Paquette has been teaching the personal finance class for over 15 years. It started as an elective, but is now required to graduate in Winooski schools. But it's one of the few districts where financial literacy is mandatory. In fact, only 20% of Vermont districts require the class, and in many cases, it's the marginalized communities who don't have access to this kind of education. So schools with students who qualify for free and reduced lunch, they're less likely to get this class than their peers. Schools where there's a large majority of black and Hispanic students are not likely to get this education compared to um, their peers in neighboring schools. And teachers aren't the only ones who could help. Nonprofit organization NextGen Personal Finance says parents can get involved too. We created a game called the Fit Money Super Squad. You know, we really want to meet kids where they're learning, and sometimes that's in school, and sometimes that's at home. And there's an effort at the Vermont State House to change things. Treasurer Mike Pichek supports House Bill 288. It would require all Vermont public high school students to take a personal finance class to graduate. However, lawmakers want to ensure schools have the proper resources before implementing the requirement. In Winooski, Sam Israel, ABC 22 News. Well, back.